back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm really excited because I have another pack with me video today. Is this distracting? I feel like the reflection is distracting. You can already see from the title, I'm going to Paris. I almost screamed just now and I had to like dial that back. So I did another packing with me video from my trip to Berlin and you guys really seem to like that one. So we're just gonna do a little bit more of the same. And this time I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on my clothes. I'm going to be in Paris for four nights and five days. I've checked the weather for whilst I'm there and the weather looks pretty good. We're looking at 19, 20 and 21 degrees with a little bit of cloud cover, no rain. Fingers crossed. Let's start off with the luggage because I haven't formally introduced you guys to the newest member of my luggage family. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, should I just put her over here so you can have a look? <laughs> I'll leave her in the background. That was not even planned. This is my Ramoa Classic S cabin size suitcase. And I picked this up in Germany, in Berlin. You guys, if you've watched that vlog, you would have seen. It's a beautiful suitcase. I'll do like close-ups on the inside when I'm packing and stuff so you can see about the compression mechanism and all that kind of stuff. Exceeds all my expectations. The wheels are so buttery smooth. It just feels like a suitcase that's built to last. I actually found it to be a lot roomier than I thought, even though I got the small size. I am someone that flies Ryanair. I fly EasyJet. I would just rather be on the side of caution because I don't want trouble. The second piece of luggage I have is this little overnight bag. This is a bricks bag. I don't know the official name because I actually got this from TK Maxx. It was 60 pounds, 59.99. I kept the tag because I wanted to make sure that I could prove it. <laughs> Originally 129.99, so 130, and I got it for 60, so just under half price. I love that for me. I actually bought a Longchamp bag in Barcelona, and I ended up returning it because I just didn't like the way it sat on top of my suitcase. And I think that was primarily because it didn't have that trolley strap. So when I saw the bricks one had it, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. And even though the brown handles, ideally, I love this, but because my suitcase is silver and black, ideally, I wish this bag was all black. I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it was such a good deal. So all the accents on this bag are gold. The strap is also has the gold hardware. And one thing that the Longchamp did not have is this little pouch thing. So how convenient is that? Like this bag, I just think it's perfect for travel. Eventually, I do want to get a more structured tote to sit on top of my Ramoa. I just think that it would look better, to be very honest. Now we can run into all the clothes I'm taking with me. Let's start off with shoes. I got these shoes last summer and they're in just a really lovely nude color. They literally go with everything. Um, they're true to size. I will link these down below. I will also be taking my beiges. That's a lot more true to color. So, so these will be my walking shoes and one more pair of shoes. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm going to take my Sam Elbermans. I'll link everything I'm talking about in the description bar down below. I think these are called the Lorraine loafers, if I'm not mistaken. These are meant to be a really good dupe for the Gucci loafers. My friend actually bought the Gucci loafers in Barcelona and the Gucci loafers look a lot nicer. I'm not going to lie, but these were a fraction of the price. Let's talk accessories. Do I even need to talk too much about this bag? If you're not new to my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Chloe Fay. This is going with me, it goes with me everywhere. I love this bag. You have to have a beret if you're going to Paris. It, it's, it, it's just, it's only right, okay? Don't judge me, I'm super cheesy. I have three skirts here. I got these on ASOS, I got a black one, and I also got this really nice cream type of color. They're a little big around the waist, but that's the only way they're gonna fit over my thighs and my butt, so what can I do? This is from Pretty Lavish. This is the first thing I've ever ordered from that brand. I saw this in a Nuri Anna haul. It's a ribbed skirt with a slit down the middle. I got this in a size medium. The Topshop skirt's in a size 12, if that helps anybody. These cream trousers I recently styled on my Instagram. 
and I just really love the way these fit. These are the jeans I'm taking. These are the Levi's rib cage jeans. I got these on Amazon actually. They have a really good try before you buy policy. And I really like these jeans, but they're not very comfortable when you're wearing them for a really long time. Like sometimes they kind of like, like chafe around the groin which is a really weird place to change but i've heard with levi's you kind of just need to break them in and like not wash them and just wear them over and over and over again and then they kind of mold to your body i don't really tend to go anywhere without taking my black taller leggings i just think they're really comfortable okay, so now we're moving on to tops so with tops i have this lightweight jumper i got this jumper from lily silk it's 100 percent cashmere i just wanted a, a good quality lightweight knit that could kind of go with everything so this is a bodysuit that i picked up from barcelona i got this skins bodysuit with the square neckline i know these things are really hyped but it's really comfortable to wear and it washed really well and then this one is from zara i got this last year and this fabric feels really similar to the skins fabric actually and i really love this chocolate color and i'm taking some shirts so i have this tan linen-esque one that i got from zara i also picked this up in barcelona and i got this in a large and then i also got this one which comes in more of a cotton fabric this is from mango it's also in a large and i also got this in barcelona barcelona was really good for shopping for mango and like zara those kind of shops much cheaper than shopping in the uk i also have this shirt yes the brightness a little bit this is the shirt that i wore in my um, perfume haul video actually from misguided it's in a uk 12 it's really cropped though so i'm only comfortable to wear it with really high rise things i don't know if i'm gonna get to wear this i bought this during my birthday in january it's from house of cb i love this dress and i've never worn it as you can see it still has all the tags on it i thought that maybe this could be my easter sunday dress that's everything ignore this by the way i don't know i don't know what this is let's start packing i'm going to change the view a bit and then show you guys and i'm really happy that i'm actually filming this during the daytime because my last pack with me everything was at night and all my clothes were black and you couldn't see anything so hopefully this one is a lot better so this is what the suitcase looks like when you've opened it up it has this really good combination lock system no zip and it has this seal a rubber seal around it so it makes it waterproof pretty cool but the extra thing that these Ramoa suitcases come with are these compression pads. I don't necessarily need packing cubes. strap them on like that strap that onto this side like that and then this one you're able to really pull it if you pull it all the way pull it as tight as you can hopefully you can see it's compressing everything underneath it and then you just secure it onto the strap and I find this really effective like I don't know if you're if that came across on the screen but it's definitely compressed everything and you could probably compress things further so I'm quite happy with that side let's move on to this side now so I put my underwear into a small antler compression cube it's not really compressing very much I have my two pairs of loafers and inside the loafers I've put a belt in this one and then in another one, I put an empty tote bag just to save space. I have these two pair of heels. I've also put in some sunglasses. So I've actually, so they're not by the shoes. And now I also have my bag full of makeup brushes, a pair of scissors. Actually, the scissors shouldn't be in here. I'm not too sure if you can take scissors on Eurostar. 
I've Googled it and it doesn't say that you can't, but it doesn't explicitly say that you can. So I'm gonna put those with my toiletries just in case. This is my toothbrush case. I'm gonna go put that my toothbrush in there. And then these are just some eyelashes. Do I need my toothbrush in here? I might put my toothbrush in my hand luggage as well. Last thing I'm gonna put in here is my travel adapter. I showed you guys this in my first pack with me. It's just one of those brick cubes that have different extensions for different countries. So I can use this in America, the UK, and the EU. I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon and it works really, really well. And this always stays in my suitcase, by the way, so I never forget it. And I might just put that underneath there. So that's what this section is looking like. So now I'm going to put in the board, just like I did on the other side. So the compression boards, obviously on this side, is not compressing as much as on this side. I've done this one a lot tighter. They also come with these zips. So this would be really handy for like underwear, um, anything that's flat that you want to stick in here. So I think I'm good with this. I'm going to close this up. Oops, it's kind of full. This is definitely the most full this suitcase has been. So this is a good thing to show you guys. I'm try and close this. Okay, so that's closed pretty easily. All right, guys. So that's my suitcase full. So here's my bricks bag, and now we're going to fill this up. The first thing I'm going to put in here is this little tablecloth slash blanket. I'm taking this because I'm hoping to do some picnics in Paris and I thought that it would be good to have a blanket to put on the floor. My laptop is also going to go in here. And then I also have my mini iPad in the front slot. And then I have a bunch of adapters and wires that I need in here as well. This is my travel tripod. I've never traveled with a tripod before. Because I'm going on my own, I want to be able to get nice pictures of myself. So that was from Amazon. It's 20 pounds. It's a very lightweight tripod. It's nowhere near as sturdy as the main one that I'm filming on now. I'm taking an umbrella. Even though it's not supposed to rain in Paris, I've lived in Europe for long enough to know that you always need an umbrella. These antibacterial wipes I'm actually going to pop in this little pouch because I need to have access to that. And this, I probably could have put this in my suitcase actually, but it's okay. My passport is also going to go in this pouch. And I have two bags, much larger bags than my last pack with me. Apparently there's no liquid restriction on Neostar and I wanna take advantage of all of that. So I've packed this bag for makeup, which is a lot bigger than my last one. And then I have this huge bag for skincare. I will also pop that in there. And then snacks. <laughs> I have these Eat Natural bars and then this is the deliciously ella um chocolate bar i really like this because it's sugar well it says here no preservatives or stabilizers 100 percent plant-based it just kind of makes me feel better about eating chocolate so <laughs> and it tastes good of course i should have said that first and then i'm gonna put my toothbrush in here this is my little miscellaneous pouch with my shower cap earbuds, floss, all that kind of stuff. I also decided to invest in a vlogging camera. This is the Sony ZV-1. It was between this and the Canon G7X Mark III for me. Um, I watched a few videos and I just preferred the way the picture of this looked. This is going to be my first trip using this. I'm really excited. I also bought this mini tripod to go along with it. I'm gonna put that in with my pouch. This pouch is so handy. And then this little mini tripod can also fit in that pouch. I have some extra makeup bits that are probably gonna go in my handbag. The only thing I haven't packed now is jewelry. My jewelry is really minimal. I'm going to pop an extra pair of earrings or something in here. Let's see if this is gonna close. little duffel bag looks like and I'm gonna show you how it slots onto my Ramoa. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Alright guys so I'm off now. I'm literally heading to the train station, my first time on the Eurostar, my first time ever in Paris. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging my entire trip by the way so if you want to know what I get up to while I'm in Paris make sure you subscribe. 
this is my first proper solo trip so i'm really excited a little bit nervous but more so excited so make sure you stay tuned for that video i will see you guys in the next one stay blessed stay safe and take care <laughs>